Hi, Eric from Mars Software. Welcome to this tutorial, an intermediate overview to Fusion's Volume Fog tool. In the last session, we learned how to create simple volumes and what the prerequisites are for doing so. Let's have a look at creating slightly more advanced fog like lit clouds. You've seen parts of this setup in the last tutorial. To better visualize what's happening here, I added a small 3D setup connected to the Volume Fog tool via simple expressions, which mimics the behavior of the Volume Fog tool. As we learned, the Z extent of a volume can be defined by an image sequence. Let's have a look at this setup here. A background tool, 512 by 512 pixels large, set to white with full alpha. Two polygon masks, which are animated using a perturb modifier, mask this background out. This is how the result looks when you press play. A fast noise tool with the same pixel dimensions and the seeth rate of 1 is fed into a create bump map tool, which is then brought down in brightness by minus 0.5. Please check out Courseware 105 here on our YouTube channel for an explanation of this technique. The result is then used to drive a displace tool on the background, set to XY displacement, utilizing the red and green channels. We blur it just a tiny little bit and use a matte control to copy the alpha channel of the displaced background onto the fast noise. The result looks like this. Now let's connect this to our 3D visualizer to get an idea of what it will look like. And also connect it to our volume fog tool. Now bring up the number of samples and Z slices to get a better result. Also, let's stretch it a little bit in X and Z. Looking pretty cloudy already, we need to add a light now. We can adjust the position of the light pretty easily in our 3D environment. However, we don't see any changes yet in the volume fog itself. For that, we need to activate the Do Lighting option in the Light tab. Let's also add a background here and merge the fog on top of that. The first two options in the Lighting tab you might want to change are Density and Scattering. While Density just makes the fog appear thicker, Scattering has another parameter it interacts with which is a symmetry. A symmetry defines if the light rays scatter more towards the light origin or away from it. Transmission and transmission color define which color the light rays pick up while traveling through the fog. Reflection sets the amount and color of reflected light. Emission adds an overall glow type effect to the fog. We could now for example animate the volume fog's axe offset to achieve moving clouds or use our camera to fly through the clouds. With a bit more effort in creating the imagery for the clouds themselves, you can end up with results like this. In the next part, we will talk about creating animated volumes. Stay tuned.